All right, guys, having just finished up Midweek Magic, um, now I'm back over on my primary account, and I see the Mastery Pass has reached that magical break-even point that I calculated. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my Mastery Pass video for all the details. Uh, but for right now, I am I am going to be buying the Mastery Pass. Uh, always get the 3400 Don't pay the extra. Just level it up yourself. Uh, if you're behind, just don't buy it until you're at least at the break-even point. Uh, spending an extra 2,000 gems to get those 10 levels is never worth it uh, from an economic standpoint. Uh, so here we go, guys. Let's uh, let's get more of that purchase. Uh, we got some cool stuff here. Uh, I do think I want to set my soldier as the default. That's uh, that's fun times, fun times. And now we has new stuff to open. Before we get into all that, take just a second and smash the like button. Truly, it'll only take a moment to do all of those YouTube things, and it really helps the community. Speaking of community, if you haven't been seeing our community updates, take a moment, tap the bell icon, and update your notification settings. There's a lot of great information, and your voice can help shape the future of the channel. Now, um, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, right. Uh, and I'm not sure, do I want to go ahead and open up my packs for Brothers War? I don't know. We'll, we'll see here. What do you say we start with the Innistrad, though? And, uh, just do a little quickness here. What's the rare? Another Faithful Absence. Okay, I can dig it. Uh, I am glad to get that. Uh, Crimson Bow. Let me get here. Uh, nice, uh, a dual land. I will always, always, always be happy. Kamigawa, come on, give me something good here. Kamigawa is probably my favorite set. Uh, okay, all right. A wild card. I, I can accept that. That's like a rare of my choice. Uh, new Capanna. I, I almost don't care about my new Capanna. Maybe we'll get Tri Land. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh, look, rebalanced cards that still no one wants to play uh arcane bombardment as a mythic sweet and that's my first all right you made me care about a new japan pack arena are you happy uh make disappear probably one of the best reasons to be looking at uh streets uh shadows of mortality on the other hand is not uh and let's see we got a couple dominary united here all right all right, here we go. A mythic wild card. Okay. Um, and and well, that was almost the, the trifecta of wild cards, wasn't it? Um, let's see. Nothing here super exciting. Show me the rare a ship and reef. All right. Two dual lands here off the mastery pass. Pretty cool. And uh, let's see what do we get on our alchemy. Um, alright, we got a couple good uncommons. Uh, besieged, alright, I can, uh, I can accept that. And, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I'm not excited about him, but the Foundry Inspector is kind of nice. And I have to say with the Alchemy Packs, I didn't mention this earlier, I am glad that they didn't just remove the retro frame and put, um, uh, well, actually, I was thinking that was going to happen on the draft, and maybe it is, um, but here you're you're still getting the retro frame artifact, so in this we, we got three uncommons, and we've had a lot, uh, more than one pack that had multiple rares, that was kind of cool, and uh, yeah, okay, more uncommons, a disassembly, that's like the lightest card packs that I've opened so far. Uh, Rusko, okay, I can dig it. Uh, an uncommon wild card. Uh, Revoker, okay. Um, I think this is kind of going to go the same way as Pithing Needle. And, uh, I believe it was preemptively banned in Historic Brawl. Uh, Recycler, Prodigy, and Welcome, okay. Ooh, 
Amanda Mox Amber. Okay. That was that was worth opening right there, um, and not at all an alchemy card. Uh, Legion of Clay is actually something I might play around with. Uh, Patchwork Resolute is a card I'm glad to have. And uh, Keystone, okay. And uh, I tell you what we're gonna do here, guys. We're gonna go to the store here. And uh, only because uh, the alchemy packs that we buy are supposed to count towards golden packs, I am gonna buy the bundle here and get 20 packs of alchemy for the bargain price of just 15,000 gold. And uh, we are gonna open those right away. Let the, let the server do its thing. Oh, there's our two golden packs. How sweet it is. Um, let's see, let's, uh, let's get in here. Let's, uh, let's do some things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue opening the alchemy first though. We're gonna save those uh, golden packs for last. Uh, what's the rare? Thorn Amethyst and a Courier, okay. All right, we got we got some more double rare, another door to nothingness. Uh, that's not the first on this account, I don't believe. Uh, Elspeth's command, okay. And let's see, we got the extra. Oh, we got the wild card, okay. Uh, Peace Together, Lonely End, Phoenix, another Radic, well, a Radic on this account, uh, another Patchwork Resolute, okay. uh, Cage Sun, uh, always glad to get a Mythic and a Rare in the same pack, that's, uh, that's a very cool thing. Uh, Ornithopter. I, I do actually need Ornithopters. Another Gixian Recycler. Okay. And uh, a Well of Lost Dreams. Okay. I don't think I'm doing much with that. Uh, Kayla's Kindling. Interesting. Um, I hate that they have this so off center that you can't actually read the card. How stupid is that? Um, okay, and that was my first Fog of War because I refused to drop that card because it's terrible. In limited, uh, a Cloud Key and a Headmaster. All right, that's uh, that's reasonable, and I'm glad to see the uncommon wild cards coming up here. Uh, Sigil, sure. Uh, rebuff as wow, that's actually my first rebuff. How crazy! And uh, okay, Onomaton. Um, okay, that's, uh, that's decent. Uh, another disassembly, sure. Uh, Precursor Golem, very nice. I'm not sure what to do with that as far as a Golem's deck. Uh, a second Rusko, which is, uh, virtually useless. Uh, a Thorn Amethyst, okay, sure. I think we're going to be pretty close on the uh, soldier. Uh, Self-assembler, I think that's a play set too. Um, another wild card, super colossal pack. Awesome. And we're going to get a mythic wild card off uh, the wheel here any moment. Howling Mine, love it. And uh, a Headmaster, okay. Uh, Swift Foot Boots and a Warzone Duplicator. Okay, love seeing those first there. That's that's what I really wanted out of these openings was a, a lot of different cards. But of course, that's like my third recycler. So just when you think you're you're being lucky, uh, Groundbreaker and another Revoker. Okay. Uh, sure, wild cards are good. Absolutely. Uh, uprooting? Sure, why not? 
There's just so many cards in this alchemy set that I'm not terribly excited about. Uh, Phoenix is a is a solid meh. I think it will see play. I'm just not sure it's going to see play from me. Uh, another sickle. And, uh, ooh, the construction drone on my last pack. Got to love that. Um, so now I want to take a look and see how the uh, the collection is actually shaping up there. Um, let's just clear out uh, all of these shenanigans. Wow, almost two whole screens there. And uh, let's see, let's see. We want to look at the alchemy, uncommons, the collected and the not collected. Wow, we got we got the full playset just off the 26 packs. Nope, we're, we're missing one. Uh, I'm missing one uncommon, and frankly, I'm totally okay with that. Let's take a look at the rares and mythics. How did we do here? Um, I'm sure that's all stuff. Uh, so we did get a one of on all but three cards. We're, we're missing three. And uh, I wouldn't have minded having a couple more construction uh, drones. But at this point, I don't think I'm buying more packs for uh, additional alchemy cards here. I'm just not seeing the benefit. Uh, so what do you say we open some, uh, some Brothers War here? And uh, we'll, we'll do them 10. Yeah, let's do 10 at a time here. Oh, well, I probably shouldn't do this since you, you do get the doubles and we're not actually seeing them all. Uh, so what do we get here? A Ramos, um, a Howling Mine, Mistress Foundry. Very excited about that. Um, so let's, let's just do singles here. And uh, there's, there's my Blanchwood armor. Uh, in the trenches, don't actually need this card because I, I already had it, but in the trenches, very nice. Bone saw is, well, it's an egg, I suppose. Uh, Springleaf Drum has a little bit more utility. Uh, Urza, nice. Pretty, pretty happy about that. Uh, another, another mythic. And a uh, dissident, okay. I think we're filling in some of those uncommons here pretty well. Uh, Gix. Wow, that's three out of four mythics? That's pretty wild. Uh, Mechanized Warfare. Okay, a card that I was initially very excited about, but uh, having played around with it a little bit in mock-ups, um, I'm less and less convinced that Mono Red wants a 3-drop, particularly Mono Red Artifacts. Uh, Faithful Handoff and a Cloud Key, okay. We, we have, I think, a full playset of Cloud Keys now. Uh, Stasis Coffin and a Mystic Forge, nice. Happy to get those Mythics. Uh, Let's see here, another stasis coffin. Uh, steel seekers, I definitely needed some of those. And okay, a dual land. I think that probably is at least my third dual land. Uh, Founder of Latnam, uh, I'm sure you are, buddy. Picks or it didn't happen. Just saying. Um, Alloy Animist, awesome. I, I literally had none of those because I, I hadn't had an opportunity to draft it. Uh, Visions. And, okay, a Harbin and a Quicksilver Amulet. Okay. Um, yeah, all right. Play four. That's a, that's a decent, cheaty sort of card. Especially with so many big boys running around. Uh, queen. Let's see, what do we get here? Uh, an Altar of Dementia. Nice. And, uh, hey guys, if you, if you didn't see my video on uh, the Retro Frame artifacts, just be aware that some of the Retro Frame artifacts are reprints, 
and are reprinted in Brothers War Packs at higher rarities. So uh, if you are looking to craft any of those cards, be sure to keep an eye on that. Uh, Mythic Wildcard, Anathorn, and Amethyst. Nice. Alright, what uh, what do we got here? Legions of Ash. Surely it is. Uh, Lauren. Nice. Uh, and the Black Blade. Apparently not a first for me, but uh, that's okay. Trying to figure out if uh, Black Blade goes in the historic brawl Jota deck or not. Uh, Astral Cornucopia as a first and a portal to Phyrexia. Got to love that card. Bless your opponent kind of plays it, in which case you kind of hate it. And uh, let's see what we get here. Tano's nice. I wanted that for a brawl deck. Glad to get it. Uh, another Mox Amber. Is that is that maybe three now? Crazy. Uh, let's see here. We're probably gonna open another ten-ish uh, Brothers War packs before uh, Phyrexia All Is One comes out, and uh, probably another twenty packs over the course of uh, the next couple of years here before it rotates out. So uh, if we don't get quite everything we want on the rares and, and mythics long run uh, we have a lot more shots here and uh, how, how do we do here and a wild card okay so now I, I want to take a look at the brothers war um, take a look at the collection here again tons and tons and tons of new cards yes 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 um, let's dial into this, and I want to look at my, uh, my commons and uncommons. Do I have anything not collected? Yes, I still have four cards, three of which are commons. How, how crazy is that, that out of all those packs, all that drafting, I have three cards I have not, uh, or three commons that I have not, uh, been able to get. Um, let's see, what's my four ofs look like here? That is, that is pretty strong. That's one, two, three screens. Okay. And what do we look like on these here? Is there anything we are just dying, dying to have? I do think Wing Commandos, I'm going to need some more of those uh, for that Blue White Soldiers deck, maybe. Uh, although now I'm seeing builds without it. Um, I definitely am going to need another Swift Spear. And uh, let's see here. Anything else that's really jumping out at me? Uh, probably another Steel Seeker. And uh, I'm going to want the other Baylos, no doubt. And I think on the gold card, we're looking pretty good. Uh, I think a fourth Dissident is probably the way to go. Uh, I'm a little disappointed I don't have all my Vanguards yet. So there, there is definitely room here for some uh, additional Brothers of War stuff to be going on. Uh, what, what do we look like here? Uh, yeah, I'm missing the one and I'm missing the three. Okay, and unfortunately it doesn't give more detail until you get a one of a beach. Bummer. Um, I think we did okay on the prayers and mythics. I should have looked at this while I was in here but I did not. How do we do? How do we do? Uh, only one Siege Veteran. That's that's a bummer. Uh, I'm definitely going to want more of those. Uh, no Myrel. No uh, Platoon Dispenser. Serious, serious bummers here on some of these. Um, let's see. Uh, Battalion, I... I I don't want a battalion, not gonna lie. Uh, I think I think I am gonna want one of those. A Sahili as well. Uh, only one fortified beachhead. Uh, two Urza planeswalkers, that's a little bit crazy. Uh, but zero might stones, bummer. 
uh, Liberator got none. I do have two Mistress Foundries, so I guess things all in all could be much worse. And um, let's take a look here at the retro artifacts. How am I doing on those? Um, decent. Uh, no sort of the meat. Like, what? Why? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why do you do these things to me, Arena? That's a card I definitely want to test in, uh, in historic. Or I guess I should say in eternal. And, uh, no worm coil engines. Bummer. Um, but that's alright. We still got a couple of mythics. There's a one, two, three, four, five. So we're only about halfway through on our mythics here. Uh, so that's decent. What do you say if we open up our our golden packs and see if we address any of those missing things that we we really really want? Uh, Draconic Destiny, uh, Temporal Anchor. Wow. I mean, I thought they said it was going to be less Brothers War rares and mythics. What's our, I guess this is our guaranteed mythic of the woods. Eh, okay, that, um, that felt pretty unspectacular. Although I am pretty happy to get uh, the re resurrected. Um, sorry, I made myself laugh sometimes. Um, hey, look, there's a platoon dispenser. That, that makes me feel better. And uh, a deer and a clay champion. Okay, not a first, though. So, all right. That is my super-duper colossal pack opening so far. Um, going back to the store for just a moment. Um, I hadn't really heard anybody talking about this, but they did give you your first notch. So make sure you buy nine packs to fill that out and get a golden pack essentially at a discount um, the alchemy bundle is a nice way to get 20 packs at a discount uh, for those that have interest in alchemy slash historic brawl uh, if not probably not the way you want to go um, so there it is guys that's what i opened up and i'm pretty pleased about it All right, and I am back over on the free-to-play account. I have purchased an additional nine packs of Brothers of War to get me that discounted golden pack. And uh, let's go through and see what we get here, um, what might be in my free-to-play future. Uh, Sanctum of Nature, that's a pretty nice pickup there. Uh, well, Lost Dreams, good enough. And what do we got next here? Kaya's Reconstruction, not bad. Uh, that is something that looks pretty good in a lot of the Mono White Soldiers builds. And Worm Coil Engine, that is lovely. That is definitely something I wanted to pick up. Uh, I wish it was on my primary account and not on the free-to-play, but that is life. I guess whoever ends up inheriting this account will really enjoy that. And, uh, ooh, Land of War Waste. Always nice to have a dual land. And a Lauren. Uh, and my first evolving wild from this set. How, how cute. And, uh, the Quietus Spike. Not bad at all. And a Spring Leaf Drum. That's generally nice. Uh, also the Obliterating Bolt. And a TV Wormlet. Uh, white artifacts just waiting to happen there. Uh, I think that might be my second copy on this account. Uh, and there we've got a Revoker, first of, and a Mishra. Very nice. We definitely have some uh, some budget decks we can play around here from this little burst. Uh, Diabolical Intent, not bad. Nice for a, uh, a black combo deck. And a Howling Mine, always nice, uh, but not quite as nice as a Mythic Wild card. That is generally as good as it gets. 
And uh, let's see here, Sigil of Valor, that's uh, pretty nice uh, for Historic. And uh, Stonebrain, okay, not a, not a super duper -de duper -de card, but hey, it is what it is. And now, that all-important golden pack here, what do we get? Uh, now this obviously has a lot less Brothers War than some of the others that we opened. Uh, Danik, very nice for that uh, budget blue build. I think it's actually my second on this account though. And I think one is probably the right number for that budget build. Uh, Broker's Ascendancy, kind of a nice pickup there. And Obnoxilis. I mean Obnoxilis, uh, very nice mythic to pick up there pretty exciting. And folks, before you go, make sure you've subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on a thing. Because I know I can't change the magic economy all by myself, but I think we can.